Peters A. Buff, as it's our new coach, coach, John Everett. standard in how we do things. There, there are no excuses. You know, either you do or you don't. And then we're going to change the way we see ourselves. We're going to get swagger back in this program. Their job is to help return the luster of this great program. I told them about the fact that we won a national championship. One of the best kept secrets out there. And I say that because when I was at UCLA recruiting, and you go into schools, people don't know about Colorado like they should. They don't know about our Heisman Trophy. They don't know about our Buckets Award winners. They don't know about our Mackey Award winners. They don't know about uh, our Big 12 championship. They don't know about the accomplishments that we've had as, uh, as a program. The people are going to know about it now. I guarantee you that. You know, there's, there's a certain passion I believe you need to have success in this program. Does it need to be a buff guy? Maybe not. But if it's not a buff guy, how do they know about the passion? How do they know about the details that were put in this program and made it successful? You know, I think you got a little glimpse of that when Brian Corral took over. Things like not wearing red. Things like Put the sign up, things like one heartbeat. You know, all those things evolved over time. You know, I, I feel old when they say it was 25 years ago or 27 years ago, whatever it was that I was up here. Because it really does feel like it was yesterday. Uh, you're just out there running around. And uh, knowing some of the traditions, how they evolved. And you can't get to where you want to go if you don't know where you've been. And it's important the players understand who we are, where we're going, and how we're going to get there. Yes. The vision and the message has to be clear. And you will not have to worry about what the vision and what the message is. It's excellent. It's returning the luster to this program. I want to acknowledge a guy that uh, I really didn't want to do this without uh, someone I've been with, I've been fortunate to work with uh, for five years. We had great success when we've been together. Uh, helped crew in here. He's going to say I lied to him, but I didn't. I was just a little off on the timing uh, of things. But uh, here at Hannity, everyone knows the great club he is. He is an engine stadium. And I would not want to do this without him by my side. Because he thinks like me. He knows what I want. He can get help. He can get the message through to the players. There's only going to be one message. All the coaches, all of us, the staff, will be saying the same things. We won't be in gray areas. They'll understand what it's about. But I wanted to, to acknowledge Eric and thank him for everybody here. I'm not a patient person. 
so we're going to try to speed up this process as best we can. But at the end of the day, it's going to be something that everybody's proud of. This athletic department and then this football program. We are very excited about this challenge. I just want to say that Ms. Benson, Sam Noah, Mike Brown, getting us into that conference. I've always felt like that was a great fit. Eric and I were at UCLA from a facility standpoint, and from some other things, how the universities work from an academic standpoint. Pac-12 is a great fit for us. We have a lot of alumni out there. Now when we go on the road, we'll have fans there supporting us. We'll have a crowd. And so that after we win, we go sing a fight song with them, another tradition that we need to do. I know it's been a while since we went on the road. We need to get that change. We get that turned around. So I'm excited about what's in front of us. Because I believe this university has a great future. I believe we have a lot of things that the other, other teams in this conference don't have. They can't sell those mouths. They can't sell this community. They can't sell the tradition we have. And at the end of the day, like I said, it's a, it's a well-kept secret, but it won't be kept that well-kept for long. People don't know about us. Thank you.